Welcome to Large Numbers Roll Over. In this lesson I'm learning how a number rolls over when 10 of any unit occurs in addition and how a number rolls back when 10 of any unit occurs in subtraction. Let's start with this question here. I've got $9,997 in my bank account and I save another $15. I want to work out how much money I've got now. Well, you can see over here I've laid out all the money that's in my bank account. I've got my 9,000s, 900s, 910s, and 7,1s. Over here I've got the money that I've saved, 15, which is a $10 note, and 5 $1 coins. And down the bottom here I've got the bank, uh, the bank where I can go and exchange money if I need to. You can see that 15 this 15 is made up of a $10 coin, uh, sorry, a $10 note and five $1 coins. So let's start by adding in the $1 coins. I'm only moving these over here into my bank account. So you can see that I added the five $1 coins that were over here to the seven one dollar coins that were already in my bank account and that means I've now got twelve one dollar coins which is a bit of a problem because I can't have more than ten so what I'm going to have to do is swap ten of these one dollar coins for a ten dollar note so it's just a straight swap I'm not getting any more or getting rid of any just a straight swap ten of these one dollar coins for one ten dollar note there's one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight swap for this ten dollar note. Now you can see I've got ten ten dollar notes in here, plus I've got this ten uh, this ten dollar note over here from my fifteen. So what I'm going to do now is add this ten dollar note into my bank account. So you can see I've now got 11 $10 notes over here. I had 9, I added in the one $10 note that was over there, plus I've got another $10 note um, from exchanging those 10 $1 coins. So now I'm not going to have to go to the bank, I'm going to have to swap 10 of these $10 notes and I'm going to swap them for a $100 note. Again, it's a straight swap, I'm not getting any more or ending up with any less. Straight swap, 10 $10 notes for one $100 note. There goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that was being swapped for one $100 note. So now you can see I've got $100 notes and I can't have that because I can't have 10 in one column so what I'm going to have to do is swap these 10 $100 notes at the bank for one $1,000 note. Again it's just a straight swap I'm not getting any more or ending up with any less. So let's do that now. There goes 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which we're swapping for one one thousand dollar notes because ten hundred dollar notes is the same as a thousand dollars. But now we've got a new problem. You can see I've got ten one thousand dollar notes and I can't have that, so I'm gonna have to swap these ten one thousand dollar notes for one ten thousand dollar note. Just like last time, this is just a straight swap. I'm not ending up with any more or any less. And we know that 10 $1,000 notes is exactly the same as, 10, 000, as one $10,000 note. So I'm going to swap those over now. There goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And there is the $10,000 note that I swapped it for. So now you can see that that's left me with $10,000 plus $10 plus $2.
So the answer to 9,997 plus 15 must be 10,012. Let's just try one more example really quickly. This time I've got $998 in my bank account and I managed to save $1,003 more dollars. Just like last time, I've got my $998 which are in my bank account over here. Over here, I've got the $1,003 that I save and down a little bit lower, I've got the bank. So let's start by adding in the uh, the three dollars that I saved, adding them into my bank account over here. So you can see that I don't have eight dollars in, in there anymore because I've added those three more one dollar coins. Those eight plus the three means I've now got eleven one dollar coins. So I'm going to have to swap ten of them for one ten dollar note. I'm going to go and do. So there goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which was a straight swap for one ten dollar note. And you can see I've now got a new problem. I've got ten uh, ten dollar notes because I had nine and I added in that other one that I made um, by swapping the ten one dollar coins. So I'm going to have to swap ten of these uh, ten dollar notes for one one hundred dollar note. I'm going to do that now. There goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten which were getting swapped for one of these. And the new problem is I've now got $100 notes, so I'm going to have to swap those at the bank as well. I'm going to swap $100 notes for one $1,000 note. There goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which I swapped for one of these, so I'll move those up to there. Now I'm not quite done because I added in the three, but I never added in that one thousand. It's still sitting down over here. So now I need to add that uh, into my bank account. So move that over here. So you can see I've now got two one thousand dollar notes and one dollar coin. So if I add those together, you can see that nine hundred and ninety eight plus one thousand and three is the same as two thousand and one. I hope you found this lesson helpful. In our next lesson we'll look at how numbers roll backwards uh, in subtraction. And you can find that lesson at teachertools.co.nz